G'day, g'day, and welcome to another episode of Kiwi Car Life. And today we've got a classy German hatchback. But don't be fooled by the plain Jane styling. Underneath here is an absolute weapon of an engine, which you will get to see a little bit later on. But in terms of the exterior styling, I actually have always really liked the way that these look. I remember back in the day when I used to play Need for Speed Pro Street, I drove the slightly older shape of this with the 3.2 litre V6. And at the time, I thought it was the coolest car in the world. And then, interestingly enough, with sort of Audi's design, they tend to keep a very similar profile, but just change a few tiny little elements. So when I found out that this was actually the newer shape from the one that was in the old uh, Need for Speed Pro Street game, I was like, really? It looks the same. But that's just kind of the way that Audi does their design these days. The wheels are one of my favorite parts about this car when you have the huge calipers behind it with the RS logos on the brake and then the very distinctive Audi RS wheels that you see on an awful lot of their top performance cars it just makes a fairly simple looking hatchback look a lot more sporty which I really really like. Another overall aspect of the design that's quite cool about this particular one is that it's what I like to call the panda spec where you have a white exterior with a black interior black accents you've got a, uh, a black bumper inside down the bottom there housing a very sizable uh, oval shaped exhaust and overall just the sort of black and white theme gives a clean and crisp aesthetic to the outside. The engine fitted to this Audi RS3 is a rather unique one. It is a 2.5 litre inline 5 so no puny turbo 4s here. This in essence is half a Lamborghini Gallardo engine with a turbo slapped on it. And from factory it makes about 250 kilowatt or 335 horsepower and 400 50 newton meters and of course it's paired with a seven speed dual clutch transmission and drive is being sent to all four wheels and because of that even though it's packing an enormous amount of punch for quite a small lightweight car it puts its power down phenomenally well but from looking under here any enthusiast will be able to pick that this is no standard rs3 because it has had a number of modifications done to it along with a stage two tune the modifications include an intake a gutted downpipe and a custom stainless steel exhaust along with some new coil packs and of course a stage two tune. And that in turn gives this tiny little hatchback 315 kilowatt to all four wheels, which is getting up there with one of the most powerful cars that I have ever driven. Jumping inside the interior of the RS3 and my goodness, they have certainly set this up to be sporty. I got in these seats and I'm like, oh, I'm being squashed in here, which I suppose is good if you wanna go blasting around some corners. And the steering wheel is really, really sporty. I love the way that the paddles feel and everything and the gauges are just right there and uh, everything falls easily to hand and is perfectly set up for a sporty drive. The seats themselves are really comfortable and it is a really well equipped car. You've got auto lights and wipers, automatic climate control, and heated seats and all that good stuff. There's no confusing electronics or big screens like any of the newer Audis. The only part for me where it just starts to fall apart a little bit is that it literally looks like a 2003 diesel Audi on the inside besides the steering wheel which arguably looks even worse. It's nice that it has the flat bottom but this suede steering wheel has not aged well. And the rest of the interior, I mean, it's hard to tell that this is even the most performancey RS3. You have a little RS logo on top of the shift knob, but otherwise it is a pretty bland interior. Another nice thing about this is that because it is a hatchback, you have a really good size boot, the seats can fold down and you have plenty of space in the back. So when you're putting all 450 horsepower of your stage two tune to use, your kids can be sitting comfy in the back. Okay, driving the Stage 2 Audi RS3. The exhaust is so loud I can barely hear myself think. But first of all, mate, oh, I've long maintained these dual clutches. Uh, uh, they're pretty boring transmissions. You don't feel anything. It's just instant changes, no gear shock or anything. But at the same time, you have to respect the craftsmanship that has gone into make a transmission that shifts that good. But yeah, I bet you if you put your foot down in first. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 all right. <laughs> it's fast, man. But if you want a car that sounds absolutely amazing and goes like this. Oh, yeah. My, oh, my, the power. Oh, yeah. Listen to those upshift noises. The sound of that five cell is glorious. It literally sounds and drives like a baby Lamborghini, man. The steering feel is excellent. Transmission performance is 
brilliant, like seriously, seriously good. The upshift farts, like mate, I drove, I drove a Golf R, the Golf R has nothing on this. I know this is tuned, but how can you beat the sound of a five still, mate? That is freaking insane, bro. You are literally catching up to these blokes so fast. Above all else, look, I've just been pleasantly surprised that, you know, I thought this would be boring, but it's so loud and dramatic, you know, and the upshift farts and everything, like, uh, the exhaust is annoying, don't get me wrong, but at the same time, it's part of the thrill, right? And it is, it is fast. Look at that, two and a half thousand RPM, you put your foot down, you just feel just your back just getting shoved into the seat. Like, honestly, who cares if the interior is just pure plastic? And who cares if the transmission's a bit boring? Because that engine is what this is all about. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, yes. Well, there we go. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Kiwi Car Life. I can confidently say that this is the best hot hatch I have ever driven for the price you know these things are getting pretty darn cheap now given how easy they are to modify and how fun they are to drive and how just awesome the soundtrack is and how incredibly fast it is like that is neck snapping performance there mate i would say that this is absolutely worth every penny so there we go Thanks for watching this episode of Kiwi Car Life. And if you want to see me reviewing a Golf R, then click over here. And if you want to see me reviewing a BMW M135i, then click over here. And I will look forward to seeing you again next time.